Rilutec is a medication that is used to treat a specific type of nerve disease known as a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, or commonly called Lou Gehrig's disease. It works by helping to slow down the progression of the disease and extend the lifespan of those affected. It is important to take this medication as directed by your doctor and to follow the recommended dosage. The optimal timing for taking this medication should also be discussed with your healthcare provider. Before you start taking Rilutec, make sure to read the patient information leaflet and instructions for use from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth on an empty stomach, usually twice daily. If you are using the liquid form, make sure to shake the bottle for at least 30 seconds before use and carefully measure the dose using a special measuring device slash spoon. Use this medication regularly at the same times each day to get the most benefit from it. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed, as it will not improve your condition any faster and will increase your risk of side effects. If your condition gets worse, make sure to inform your doctor. Some common side effects of Rilutec include dizziness, drowsiness, nausea, vomiting, or numbness slash tingling around the mouth. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the risks of potential side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to notify your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as a fast heartbeat, signs of liver disease, signs of infection, or signs of lung problems. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not mentioned, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. As always, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more information and guidance on the use of Rilutec. Before taking Rilazole, make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you are allergic to it or if you have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. Before using Rilazole, inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have liver disease. Rilazole may cause dizziness or drowsiness. Avoid alcohol or marijuana, cannabis, as they can increase these effects. Do not drive, use machinery, or do anything that requires alertness until you can do so safely. It is also important to limit alcoholic beverages and speak with your doctor if you are using marijuana, cannabis. If you are using liquid products, be aware that they may contain sugar and or aspartame. If you have diabetes, phenylketonuria, PKU, or any other condition that requires you to limit or avoid these substances in your diet, be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist about using this product safely. Before undergoing surgery, remember to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, Rilazole should only be used when clearly needed. It is important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is unknown whether this drug passes into breast milk, so be sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking Rilutec. This medication may interact with other drugs and herbal products, which can affect how Rilutec works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial to not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor. If you or someone else has taken too much Rilutec and is experiencing severe symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or a poison control center. In the U.S., you can reach your local poison control center at 1-800-221-222. Canadian residents should call their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include mental or mood changes such as confusion or memory loss, as well as severe drowsiness. If you suspect an overdose, it's crucial to seek help right away. It is important not to share Rilutec with others. Before starting this medication and while taking it, it is important to have lab and or medical tests, such as liver function tests. 
It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of Relutec, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your usual time. Do not take two doses at once to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing Relutec, make sure to keep it at room temperature, away from light and moisture. If you're using the liquid form, store the bottle upright and tightly closed. Make sure to use or discard it within 15 days after opening. And remember to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it's time to dispose of Relutec, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company and do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard the product and it's expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.